Uppington and uh, I'm now on my way back towards Camus and uh, I just love this, um, this part of the Northern Cape. It's absolutely awesome. Right guys, almost a sad moment. My last night here at Kalahari Water and I've packed up my gazebo because traveling in a tour car it's almost like packing a little puzzle. You have to take things out and put other things in and um, so finally I'm almost now in stealthy mode. There's a few things that I will still put in. Now this is my Angolan truck grid running for my last supper year at uh, Kaleari water and um, these chairs and things must all fit in the tour car and uh, so basically this is what the tour car looks like in stealthy mode um, let me just show you from the back where I will be sleeping and there's my bed absolutely awesome and might I say I've got a tent with me I haven't used the tent since I've got this car I used the tent with the motorcycle trips and I haven't used it with a tour car so um, for tonight I've got my laptop still on and running there and uh, as I want to do a little bit of photos and videos and so on so yeah this is my campsite on the very last night here at Kalari Water. Amazing. And um, just to have a quick look out on the dam again. I've got, I had this private little balcony and onto the private balcony. Okay, the water comes from a canal and they will um, I've well the canal should run up apparently this they're busy with maintenance and the canal will well, th this would fill up by the weekend so there we have it guys so uh, tonight's uh, uh, meal is going to be a sausage pan again with vegetables um, I got myself um, today the small um, cheese griller thingy that I sort of like and I'm going to do with that vegetable. So there you have it! Uh, doing the pan meal, um, I first uh, I grilled the sausage a little bit and um, then I put the sausage in the pan with the vegetables and then I just uh, cook it through and let it simmer for a little bit started to pack up and the following morning at Kalari water I had to take a few photographs and then I cleaned my campsite I think this is sort of important to leave a campsite very very neat and clean um, you know that always makes uh, people happy when you return in the future then on the way back towards um, uh, Kenart again the quiver tree forest uh, driving up um, past that point I had a little bit of direct sunlight and it was hard to capture a photograph of the quiver tree forest but on the way down I got a pretty good uh, photograph of that and then uh, in the town of Kenart I just basically carried on through after Kenart you find these awesome little hills with these black rocks and if you travel in Namibia that's sort of um, what well, Giant's Playground is, is all about with these um, black rocks stock, stacked on top of each other. And then back in Kofinia, the large post box and the little bit of uh, the town of Kofinia. And then I went back 
to Vereinsdorp and uh, was really happy to get back to ZAR um, campsite. Uh, that evening I met uh, the new touring friends. Uh, we actually traveled together the whole of the next day. We had supper together in the restaurant and the next day we traveled uh, together all the way down to Malmesbury. And finally I arrived back at the dam and I was so happy to see um, they have cut down the awful row of um, pine trees and and they are busy to um, fix up the caravan park with uh, nice trees and cleans up it looks much 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 better from before I have um, made up my little car in stealthy mode here you can see my Uno it's basically in stealthy mode what it would look like on the outside and then the evening I went to the clubhouse and I had to take a couple of good photographs of the sunset and I had my dinner and uh, it was just very good and that is it for the bonus video and the drive back I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please follow my tour car adventures all around South Africa. Thanks for watching. Cheers.